Hey, Seth Gears, Mr. Hansen with the next math video for you. One of the last math videos for this school year, we're talking today about histograms. So a histogram is a bar graph that has no spaces between the bars. So the biggest difference between just a bar graph and a histogram, a histogram has bars, but they're all connected, which means they're all touching, there's no space in between them. And a histogram also has what we call equal intervals okay intervals means a range of more than just one specific value okay so <clears throat> we are going to learn how to interpret histograms to answer questions about them and how to create a histogram ourselves so with this first example we're going to be creating a histogram from a table of values all right so it says the table below shows the ages of 25 people so that's the total amount 25 people is our grand total who attended a play? We're going to complete the histogram based on the data given in the table by answering questions one through nine. So it's going to give us steps on how to create this histogram here. All right. So all the ages are already in intervals. All right. These are the intervals: zero to 14, 15 to 29, 30 to 44, and then 44 and older. Okay. The frequency is how often it's the number of times that it took place okay frequency means how many times so if I say hey I'm going to the bathroom four times a day, that's frequent because it's multiple times okay so first step list the age intervals in each blank along the horizontal axis so down here I put my intervals 0 to 14 15 to 29 30 to 44 and then 44 and up all right or over 44 so down here I'm going to label this this would be ages right the age of it says label the scale along the vertical axis okay the scale here all right this is my frequency kind of sloppy but that's frequency okay and now I need to give the graph a title and label the axis well I already kind of did that all right um, but here at the top I'm gonna write play attendance okay that's all I know I don't know what kind of play it is all I know is how many people attended so I need to label each part here with a number. Now the highest it went up to is 12, okay? The lowest was three. And I have one, two, three, four, five lines, technically six, if I count the top. So I'm gonna count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. Sorry, I'm gonna rewrite this because this looks sloppy, okay? You don't have to write all that. Okay, Mr. Hanson, I need to fix this because this looks sloppy. So here's two, four, six, eight, there's 10, and then the very top is 12. And on the side here, this is labeled number of people. Okay, that's my frequency, the number of people, right? So now, how many people were 14 and under? I connect and fill my histogram or my bar based on how many people. So that was three. So three would be right between two and four. So now I would fill that in, okay? Between 15 and 29 was 12. So again, notice how I'm connecting it all because there's no spaces, all right? And I would fill that in. From 30 to 44 was five. So that's in between four and six, right in the middle there. And 44 and above was also five, so that would be in the exact same line here. And of course, we can color it in if we would like to. So here's our histogram that we just created for play attendance. The ages were our intervals, the number of people per interval. All right, because if I add, if I add three, 12, five and five, that should give me my total attendance, which was 25. That means I didn't miss anybody, okay? So that's how we create a histogram, all right?
Now, we're going to answer these questions about the histogram that we just created. So it said, how many people were 14 under? Well, there were three of them. And we colored that bar. How many people were between 15 to 29? There were 12. How many people were 34 to, or 30 to 44? Five. And there were five people there. Did more people between the ages of 15 and 29 attend the play than people over 29? So is 12 greater than 10? Our answer is yes. Okay. More people attended that were between ages 15 and 29 than the rest, right? So that's the first half of our histogram notes here. Second half, now we're gonna able to analyze a histogram already created and answer questions from it, okay? So, how many people were surveyed and the survey was minutes spent driving to work, okay? Now, the number of people tells us how many were surveyed. So this one goes to 10. And then this one is to 15, here is 30, here's 20, 15 again, and then 10. So I need to add all those up to find the total amount. So that's 10 and 15 is 25. We've got 55, 75, 90, and 100. So how many people were surveyed? 100. Okay, again, we can check our counting 50 here. 15, 15 is 30, that's 80, 90, 100. So we have 100 total people, right? Next question, how much time did 20% of the people's survey spend driving to work? So 20%, well, 20 as a percentage is 20 out of 100, correct, as a fraction? So I'm looking for the histogram bar that has 20 people in it, okay? Here it is, 20% spent 60 to 79 minutes. So basically anywhere from an hour to an hour and 20 minutes. It's a lot of time driving, okay? Next question we're gonna answer from this histogram. It says how much time did the most people spend driving to work, okay? So the most people was 30, right? Most people, that's the highest bar. So we would say that the most people spent was between 40 minutes to an hour, because that was the interval that had the most amount of people that drove that far to work every day. All right, one more question we'll answer about this histogram. It says, do twice as many people, so two times the amount, surveyed spend 40 to 59 minutes driving as to 20 to 39 minutes. So we're comparing these two intervals. So is 30 two times as much as 15? Well, the answer is yes. And for our explanation, we would say that 30 is twice 15, right? Because there was 15 people here, two times 15 we know is 30, so that's twice the amount, right? Next example. We need to again create a histogram, all right? It says the table shows the results of a survey on the age of people visiting a restaurant. Use the data to complete a histogram. So I'm going to title this Restaurant. I'm not sure if I spelled that correctly. Yes, I did. Okay, a few times. Restaurant attendance. Okay? Not that people take attendance at a restaurant because that's just weird. Maybe some people do, but you don't have to. All right? Down here, I'm going to put the frequencies 0 to 19, 20 to 39, 40 to 59, and 60 to 79. Now down here I label this, this is the ages of people. Off to the side, remember this is the number of people. I don't want to write it sideways because it's hard to read on a video, all right? And now you can see the highest number is 18, the lowest number is four, okay? And again, I have one, two, three, four, five, 
six, six rows, right? So I need to figure out, okay, I can count by threes because three times six is 18. So I could do that. So I could go three, six, nine, 12, 15, and 18. As long as I don't have too few for my frequency bars, I'm okay. All right, now I need to complete it. So zero to 19 was 12. So I draw my first bar up to 12. I'll use a different color for the second age range. 18 was the next one. So you can see the difference between the bars. For 40 to 59, it was 10. So 10 would be just over nine. So just above nine. Right, and then four was the last one, which is just above three. So I put a line just barely above three. Right, so there's my histogram. Again, I can code the bars in if I want to, I don't have to. But there they are, all four of the age ranges. So that's it, that's histograms. You should be able to create a histogram, you should be able to analyze and interpret histograms to answer questions. We'll see you next time.